Hey, you know, we've seen lots of lines, right? We know everything about line, you know, the slope of a line, rise over run, change in y over change in x, blah, 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 blah. There are a couple of lines that you and I haven't talked about together, and I want to share them with you now. now. Take a look at this. Sure, we've all seen this kind of line, but what about a line that looks like this? Namely, a line that is parallel to the x-axis. Well, that's an example of what's called a horizontal line, obviously, because it's horizontal. And actually, we can actually compute the, the slope of, of this kind of line because, of course, the change in y over the change in x, well, there's no change in y, right? The y values don't change at all. So, in fact, this has slope 0, right? Change in y over change in x, the slope is 0. And, in fact, you can actually identify the equation of a horizontal line just literally by its uh, y-intercept and just say what the value is. So y equals 3. That means you're 3 units up. 1, 2, 3. Boom. There's the graph. How about y equals negative 2? Well, that just means that it's all the points for which the y-value is negative 2. And that's a straight line that is horizontal located at negative 2. Boom. There it is. Isn't that great? So no problem with that, but there's one type of line we still haven't seen, the dreaded vertical line. Now the vertical line is scary because check out its slope. Change in y over the change in x, but if it is vertical, there's no change in x. The x values are all the same, which means if you try to compute the slope, you're going to get something over zero. All right, so we all know you can't divide by zero. So therefore, what do we know? We say this slope is undefined. And instead to write an equation of it, all we do is write what it is. It's all the points for which x is a particular fixed value. So this is kind of a funny looking equation for a line. It's x equals the value of the x-intercept. For example, x equals 3. That's the vertical line that's 3 units to the right of the, of the origin. And that exp exp expresses the, the equation. If I say x equals negative 2, what does that look like? Well, that's now a vertical line. It's all the points in the plane for which x is negative 2, which looks like it's right around there, 1, 2 units over. And that's the graph. So, so you can see now how to look at vertical and horizontal lines. Let's take a look at some examples, right? That's what you want. You want examples. Stop all this silliness. We want examples. So let's just graph the line that passes through the points negative 2 comma 4 and 3 comma 4. Okay, so I take out a little coordinate plane here, a little Cartesian axis, whatever you want to call it. Negative 2, 4. So negative 1, negative 2, 4, 3, 4. So it goes right up here. And then 3 comma 4. 1, 2, 3 comma 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. The line that connects those two points, I don't have a straight edge. Usually I have a straight edge, but okay, okay, I'm going to do it freehand. They trust me here. Look at that. It's a line that is parallel to the x-axis. So this is an example of a horizontal line. And so what do we know? The equation of the line is just going to be what the y value equals, the y value they have in common, which of course is 4. So the equation for this is y equals 4. y equals 4 is the equation for this particular horizontal line. Cool. All right, let's try another one together because these are just so much fun you can't stop. I want us to graph the line x equals negative 3. Well, this is one of these kind of crazy ones, right? It's not a y equals, it's an x equals a number, which means it's going to be a vertical, vertical line. And what's the vertical line? It's the vertical line where all the x values are the same. They're negative 3. 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. So x equals negative 3. All the points in the plane where x equals negative 3, they're all up and down here. There it is. You see, all those values that are red have the feature that the x value is equal to negative 3. So it's a vertical line, and it is um, three units to the left of, of the origin. Great. So horizontal vertical lines, they're awesome. They're totally understandable. The horizontal ones are really easy, in fact. They have slope 0, so all you have to worry about is the y-intercept. The vertical lines are a little tricky. But as long as you remember that the equation is x equals the number, you're good to go. 
I'll see you soon.